So I wanted to get a video in yesterday on how to install TWRP as the custom recovery on the Galaxy Note 9 only and without installing Majisk. Um, I was unable to do that. Doing that led me to boot loops until I installed Majisk, so I still have some troubleshooting and tinkering to work out on that end. So today I want to show you how to enable US debugging mode on a Xiaomi device and how it's different than a regular any other old Android device. So we're right, we, we have here we have the Galaxy Note 9. I have enabled developer mode and in developer mode Naturally, naturally, we're going to have a USB debugging mode option. Now we, we just toggle that on, we tap OK. If we have our cable connected to our device and the ADB service is running on our phone, we're going to get this allow USB debugging mode. We can tap OK and allow. Very simple, very easy. Most phones have it this way to where it's one single toggle. And from here we can enter and execute any ADB command, whether it's a, an ADB permission command or just a simple ADB reboot command from our command prompt or PowerShell. Doesn't matter. However, today's tutorial is going to be about Xiaomi and how they do that on the on their OEM ROM MIUI. So now we have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro and we're going to do the same thing but because Xiaomi does things differently in MIUI of course, we have to do different steps, and a lot of different steps depending on what you have available to you. So again, I have already enabled developer mode. Now instead of just going down to developer mode in the settings, I have to go through additional settings and then developer options to get into this menu. So now, as you can see here, we have two different USB debugging mode toggles. We have the regular one, which we have to toggle and then tap on OK. And then we have a USB de debugging mode toggle for security settings. Now again, as I said, this is for allowing certain permissions via ADB on our device. So now you would think that all we would have to do is toggle it on. We're going to get a couple of these warn or three of these warnings. In fact, and then we're going to get a, an error message because I do not have a SIM card on this device. So you, you can see we have insert SIM card. Now I did not have a SIM card in that Samsung phone. Didn't matter. Xiaomi is being extra, extra secure or extra, extra paranoid, however you want to say it. So we have to have the SIM card that is attached to our Mi account in order to enable the security settings USB debugging mode option for this device. Alright, so I have now taken the SIM card out of my normal phone that is attached to my Mi account and I have inserted it into the Redmi Note 6 Pro. Now I can go ahead and tap the security settings USB debugging mode toggle. And again, we're going to go through the same three warning messages. And 
And this time it's going to stay on. So again, you can call this Xiaomi being paranoid. You can say Xiaomi is being very secure and making sure that the person who is enabling this security settings option is the correct person who owns the device that is connected to the me account on that device whatever you want to call it 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 is just a lot of work considering that this is the first and only device from a company or this is the only first and only company that has implemented this type of security just for enabling USB debug mode so that I can execute some ADB commands for specific, specifically in this case I wanted to execute some ADB commands to install better battery stats without having to have root access. So there we have it. If you want to fully enable USB debug debugging mode on a Xiaomi device now you have to go into the developer mode, the developer options menu. You have to remember there are two different toggles. Now the first one will be just fine if you just want to execute something like ADB reboot fast boot or ADB reboot um, recovery. That will work fine. But if you're wanting to actually change permission settings then you're going to have to toggle the second USB debugging toggle and you're going to have to have the SIM card that is associated with the Xiaomi Mi account that's connected to your device. 